one of the most disheartening things about our politics these days is that uh, there are some issues where there's there's daylight between the Democrats and the Republicans. I don't want to overstate it. There are differences, um, but they're not enough. The differences are not nearly as much as I would like them to be and most reasonable people would like them to be. So on one of those uh, things, immigration, I think it's fair to say they're both both Democrats and Republicans are very right wing on it. Very they're border hardliners. Right. And the Republicans have this mythology that Democrats aren't. They pretend like the Democrats are in favor of open borders. It's just preposterously untrue. And then you look at the data, we'll disprove that immediately. We've gone through it a million times. Well, you've had right wing think tanks crunch the numbers on this. And they say that uh, Biden and Kamala deported more people, both as a raw number and as a percentage than uh, Trump did, than Trump and Pence did, right? Barack Obama was known as the deporter in chief. Uh, Biden did a very right wing uh, slate of executive orders on the border not that long ago, right? They had that bipartisan bill, which was written by James Lankford, very conservative Republican. And uh, one of the things it did was really crack down on asylum, which I don't like. If either asylum is a right or it isn't, it's supposed to be a right. So people need to get their their hearing. They need to get their day in court. They need to be heard before you could just kick them out all willy nilly, no problem whatsoever, right? So that border bill was too right wing for me. The Democrats are too right wing for me on the border. And look, I'm not an extremist on the border. I'm not like an open border type person myself. I do believe in having rules and regulations and standards and a process by which you screen and etc. But we also need to marry together with being humanitarian and altruistic. And um, the Democrats and the Republicans are not that, right? Another area, and to be fair, again, the Republicans are more extreme, they are worse, but they're, they're still too similar for my liking, right? On the issue of uh, Israel. I mean, it was Joe Biden who brought us to the point where we are right now, arming and funding Netanyahu no matter what, never pulling the leash, never reeling him in, letting him attack Lebanon, letting him attack uh, Iran, and then now we are where we are. And they're trying to do to Lebanon what they already did to Gaza. And they're trying to do it to the West Bank also. So what's the difference between Trump and Biden on the issue of Gaza? Well, Trump is basically bragging on a daily basis. He'll be worse. He'll be an even bigger hardliner. He attacks the Democrats all the time for uh, being too hard on Israel. Trump says he wants to deport pro-Palestine protesters. We've heard him say that before. He took $100 million from Miriam Adelson. And in return for that, he's going to let Israel annex the entire West Bank. And I would trust him on that because he already did it with the Golan Heights, which is Syrian territory. So Trump is promising, hey, I think the Democrats are too hard on Israel. I will be even more pro-Israel. That's his position, right? And so there's another area where there are differences, but, and Trump is worse, but it's still, you're too close together for my liking, right? So anyway, I tell you all that to show you this. Trump on Hugh Hewitt's show, listen to what he commits to doing here. Let wow, me turn to anti-Semitism in the United States. Your, your daughter is Jewish. Some of your grandchildren are Jewish. Your son-in-law is Jewish. Jewish students are not safe in on many American campuses. <laughs> your alma mater, my alma mater. <laughs> By the way, can we just point out the massive irony of like the Republicans always, always, always talk about how identity politics is stupid and we should never do identity politics. And then always on this issue, oh, there's a massive rise in anti-Semitism and Jewish kids on college campuses are insane. Are you kidding me? By the way, a new ADL study came out and they go, there's been a massive surge in anti-Semitism in this country. And then you read the methodology and they're like, oh, we're including as part of anti-Semitism, we're including anti-Zionism. So in other words, pro-Palestine protesters, we are defining them anti-Semitic as such. And so that's what's accounting for the increase in anti-Semitism. It's a joke. It's an absolute joke. And then Harris have ignored this. I mean, they really have ignored ah. it. If you're president, will you send the DOJ to those campuses, the Office of Civil Rights, oh the Department God. of Education to enforce the law? Mm. 100%. I mean, the law is being broken. 100%. You wouldn't think you even have this. Did you ever think two years ago, three years ago, that you'd, you'd ever have this discussion? No. It's unbelievable what's happening. And when you see these riots, and you see a lot of people too, but you know, a lot of the people in that, a lot of those people are Jewish people. You know that. They're Jewish kids. Oh, yeah, there, there are some outliers, but, but mostly very, Jewish students are afraid to be yeah, over on have, places you, you like Harvard and Jewish Penn. Students that are afraid, yes, that's true. Jewish students are afraid to be at Harvard and Penn. Are you listening to yourselves? And they should be afraid. I've never <laughs> thought I would see this in my life with the, the campus riots and, and what they're saying and what they're doing. And they have to put them down quickly. They really have <laughs> to put them down quickly. They need federal help, though, and that's the Department of so Justice. Horrible. They no, need a Columbia Department of Justice so that will horrible. prosecute these people that assault Jewish kids. Because yeah, assault absolutely. is, that, that's real. That's not a protest. It's <laughs> not the First Amendment no, no, assault. That's, that's right. And they're being assaulted. <laughs> All these assaults. That's real, by the way. I am not making this up.
This is not totally fictional. This is not all in my mind. This is not me doing hyperbole and exaggeration. There are all these assaults happening of Jewish kids on college camps. What fucking planet are you living on? But, look, but let me ask you, did you ever think you were going to see this? I mean, I thought this was like semi-ancient stuff, you know. From no, we, we had demonstrations in the 70s and the 80s, but no, nothing like this. Did you ever, think, like you ever think you were going to see this again? No. So in other words, uh, Trump commits to sending the Department of Justice to prosecute pro-Palestine protesters. So now he's got two policies on this. Deport the ones he can deport and prosecute the other ones. And by the way, what are they actually offended by? What are they actually pissed off about? You're seeing it on screen right here. That's why they picked this as the pictures for the B-roll. Look at the pictures, you say. What are they doing? They're burning an Israeli flag. In other ones, they're burning an American flag. That's the thing that they view as unacceptable. Let's be clear. This is what they want to prosecute. Trump has said, I want to prosecute people who burn the flag with a year in jail. Now, that is deeply unconstitutional, completely against the First Amendment. Even ultra-right-wing Justice Antonin Scalia says it's against the First Amendment. This is like part and parcel of protected political speech. But this is what they're against. And so they lie and they try to cover, oh, no, it's all these assaults, all these violent assaults. There's an epidemic of all these violent assaults. What are you talking about? No, you guys don't like it that pro-Palestine protesters are making their voice heard. You didn't like it when Netanyahu came to speak at Congress and there were a whole bunch of protesters in the streets there. You guys made that a big deal, right? As if as if the scandal wasn't the genocidal maniac warmonger who was talking to our Congress, right? And meanwhile, we fund this guy for all of his atrocities. That's the scandal. The scandal is not some kids are out in the street correctly protesting against it. And what do they do? It's the age old trick. Find the most single, most extreme example from the protest and then define it as the entire protest. So in other words, the protest is, let's stop arming and funding a genocide, but they find one person who writes Hamas or something on a statue and they go, it was a pro, the whole thing was a pro-Hamas protest. It, it's all, like all, literally all of this is dishonest. All of it is dishonest. And if he's out there talking about deporting pro-Palestine protesters as he is, and he's now saying, I commit to sending in the DOJ. So what are you going to, you're going to lock people up because you don't agree with their politics. You don't agree with them standing up to Israel. You don't agree with them trying to stop the genocide. That's what you're going to do. And he goes right along. He goes right along. This is embarrassing, man. This is embarrassing. Look, I told you guys, a lane was wide open for Trump if he wanted to take it, where Biden and Kamala are being too pro-Israel and greenlighting everything they do and sending them more money and more weapons. A lane was wide open for him to be like, okay, no, oh, we got to, all he had to do was be like, we got to stop this war, bro. Like, it was, damn, it's kind of crazy. I don't like seeing those kids get blown up. That's all he had to do. He couldn't do it. He couldn't do it because he's got Washington brain. He's been in the bubble too long. And he knows that all of the money and all of the support comes from the right on this issue, comes from the pro-Israel side. So he's sucking up to them even more so than any of the Democrats. What a hellscape scenario. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.